Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Here Comes the Sun Swim and Beachwear Roundup. This is video number one. This is first in a series for Friday Sewing School and we will be going through everything you need to know for swimwear and highlighting some patterns along the way. So I realize this is Sunday and this is a Friday Sewing School video. I um, apologize, I've been having some issues with my back, nothing serious, but just flaring up of old injuries and damp cold weather don't mix. So my apologies for being late on some things. I know you'll understand and um, I did want to get this up because I have a coupon code and all kinds of exciting things for you that I didn't want to, I didn't want you to miss out on. So with that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I arrived at being confident in sewing swimwear. So two years ago, um, for 2018, I did the ready to wear fast and, um, it's a, Facebook group, but it also, it's run, it's run by Goodbye Valentino, and um, she does a really good job at encouraging people to go outside their comfort zones. I was pretty comfortable with sewing. Of course, I've been sewing all my life, but one thing I had never tackled was bathing suits. Now, we go to Mexico every other year, and 2018 was a Mexico year, so I needed some new bathing suits. With the ready to wear fast, you promise that you won't buy anything with the exception of underwear or a um, bridal gown. Um, those are like the two exceptions. Um, oh, and I think they threw in um, event t-shirts you could have because I did have a VBS t-shirt and she said that was okay. So anyway, um, I knew I needed to learn and master that technique. And that's one thing, if you ever get the chance to do that, ready to wear fast. It was wonderful. Um, it, I didn't do it for any kind of accolades, but what it did was it pushed me out of my comfort zone to try something that I wouldn't ordinarily try. Um, I made a coat, I made bathing suits, and those are things I probably would have pushed by the wayside because, you know, I've got, there are plenty of things to sew. So, um, but now that I make them and make them to fit well, I will probably never buy a bathing suit again because I'll never be happy <laughs> with it because the fit is just fantastic when you learn how. So here's what, um, I'm going to just share my journey for you. This is the first attempt that I made. This was two years ago and this was a Butterick pattern. It was, um, I think it's 50, 57.95 and it's a wrap. A oh, really cute suit. And I thought it was do going great. I went by my measurements. Um, even, you know, the upper bust, the full bust, the hips, and I made sure that was going to fit. What I didn't do is measure the length of my body. So when I put this on, I got a shocker because it was down to here and up to here. Um, because it, this, my body's long and I never would have guessed really, um, that it would be that long. Um, so this does not fit. It's a really cute suit, but it does not fit me. Um, but I kept it, I think, just because it's a symbol of pushing yourself to learn to do something. So um, this was my first attempt and it was a fail. Now, I could have fixed it. I mean, I couldn't fix it really because if it's too small, you can't really, but I could have fixed it up and given it to my daughter or someone else, but I kept it because I thought either I'll wait, I'll, you know, my measurements will change or something. So I had it to show today. So now I think I probably will. What I'm going to do is these cups are expensive. So I'm going to cut those out and then I'm going to throw this away. <laughs> so in my journey, I learned how to take all the right measurements and I learned um, the types of fabrics I should be using, um, the types of lining, what, where do you get cups, all that stuff. And um, that's what I want to share with you. I'm gonna share with you a couple of the makes I have from two years ago. The first one I made, um, this one was Jaylee 3350. It's a, it's a really popular bathing suit pattern. And the twist front is really, uh, really nice detail. It was easy to do, it was fun. 
Um, I get compliments every time I wear that suit, as I do with all of these, really. Uh, so that was the first one. And then the second one was a mashup that I made between a the jelly bottom, um, just took the the shaping of the bottom, and then I uh, attached the pattern or meshed the pattern with a sports bra so that I could have um, a nice, sleek bathing suit with, with uninterrupted prints. So um, I enjoyed that very much, and I also made um, a J. Lee 3350 that was the um, other uh, view of that, where it's just the two cups like this that go up, and it had a band right here that was contrasting. It was kind of cool. I had enough fabric from this fail to do that one. I also did a self-drafted one, um, which was a black one with some uh, power mesh net up here. Um, I kind of used a sports bra back to that one or like a racer back. And um, I'd seen a picture, I knew what I wanted, and I went ahead and I mashed everything together and made that suit. They all were wonderful. I still wear all of them, and I'm taking all of them to Mexico with me. This year, we're going for 14 days. That's 14 beach days. So I figure I need a few more, and um, it's probably going to be more than I need because I have lots of fabric, and since I'm doing this, I'm going to sew these and share the technical uh, aspects with you. So. Um, I'm going to be taking a lot of bathing suits, but that's okay. They don't take up very much room in the suitcase. They're fun to have. And who wants to put a wetsuit back on later in the day? Nah, I don't. <laughs> so um, I'm going to share with you um, a little bit about the fabric that I have and what, uh, what kinds of fabric you should choose. I'm going to share my plans with you a little bit. And I'm also going to give you kind of a list of things that you need if you want to start sewing bathing suits. So I'll just go through some fabric first. Now, this is brand new fabric that I got from Surge Fabrics. It is, it has some SPF protectant in it, which I really like. I've never had any like that, so I think it's really nice. I've always wanted a purple one, so I'm real excited to have this. So I'm not really sure exactly which view I'm going to do, but I probably might, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do the Jaylee 3350 with the twist front because I just want a simple understated purple bathing suit. So what makes this fabric good bathing suit fabric? This has a lot of spandex, nylon spandex, okay? That's what you want. Four-way stretch because it's got to stretch this way and this way to go around your body. Um, some things to look out for. You want durability. Now these are really good fabrics. Um, they didn't cost a whole lot, um, but I wouldn't skimp on swimwear fabrics because you wear them a lot, you're active when you wear them, and they go in and out of water a lot. So, the other factor to consider is how water repellent and how quick dry they are. So obviously this is swimwear fabric. It does have some SPF in it. First time I've ever seen any of that for sale. Um, and I have some exciting news. This is from Surge Fabrics, as are the next two pieces. Um, they have given me a coupon to share with you just for our little Friday Sewing School group of bathing suit watchers. And it's 15% off of all swim, elastic, and cups, and all those things um, that you need for bathing suits on their website. So, so the Surge Fabric coupon code um, that you can use between now and uh, February 25th is sewing with swim all capital letters and that will give you 15 percent off of swimwear fabric and uh, elastic and cups and all those things that you need for bathing suits and you be, can save 15 percent which is wonderful because they really were not expensive um, to begin with i got three cuts of swimwear fabric and i think i spent 40 dollars so, and that was including shipping. They're very frugal to sew your own bathing suit because even though you use very good quality fabric that might be a tad expensive per yard, you usually only need one yard, one and a half maybe. 
Um, unless you're going to do a big flounce or something, then you might need a little extra. But honestly, I don't know that I've seen any bathing suits that I couldn't make with less than two yards. So, um, yeah, and this is very, very good quality too. And this is purple. It's lycra, nylon lycra. Um, you want to look for lycra for sure. And then nylon um, and also polyester will work. However, polyester, you need to line for sure because it tends to be like the ITYs and stuff. They tend to be a little flimsier, drapier, but flimsier. So you want to definitely line them. And actually, I line all my bathing suits okay because you just don't know what's going to happen when you get in the water okay another way to test the durability of these is to test them in chlorine go swimming at the y take um, a scissors and take just a few little snippets from your bathing suit fabrics put them all on a safety pin pin it to your bathing suit and swim at the y and they have very high chlorine usually and you'll definitely see how those hold up. And then once they dry, you can hold them up to, to the original fabric and see if they faded. Um, you can see if they, um, if they stretched out or, or gotten weird in any way. And then, then you can sew them because you will, um, you will know that they'll behave. Now, if it's marked as swimwear fabric, I wouldn't worry a whole lot, but um, I've had a few that were kind of mystery fabrics that I wasn't sure how they were going to do. And I just swam with them like that and they worked fine. This one, this fabric here was like that. Um, and I did make a wonderful suit out of that. I did line it with black and it's great. I mean, it's uh, held up as well as any other suit I've ever made or had for that matter. <laughs> um, so the other thing that you want is control. That's where the lycra comes in. It's, the, it's kind of the same thing as shapewear. You want to hold all the parts in and be covered and um, have it stay where you put it, not right up and, you know, have that, all the girls come out and the, you know, all those things. So um, control is another thing, a high elasticity, four-way stretch, the other thing is if you're designing um, a bathing suit, you want to have a nice little drape, um, depending on the feature of the suit. Obviously, if it's the one like I made that was the sports bra mashup, that doesn't need to have a lot of drape, but um, something where you want to do a wrap or you want to do something kind of blousey over top or something like that, you want to make sure that you have a good drape. So I would stick to your spandex nylons, or sometimes it's called nylon lycra or nylon spandex. Spandex and lycra are the same thing. You can also look for spandex um, with some polyester content. Um, either one will probably work, but like I said, if it's not labeled swimwear, then you wanna test it in some chlorine. So um, if you don't have a pool to swim in, fill up your sink with a little bit of bleach water and toss it in there and swirl it around and see how it behaves. And then you'll know, okay? Because you don't want anything, you don't want to do something where chlorine is going to break down the fiber of your suit, okay? All right, so I love this purple. You can tell I'm just holding it, but uh, one of my viewer comments said <laughs> that she loves how I hug my fabrics. And I never realized I do that until I saw that video or until I saw that comment. And I guess I do, but I love fabric. You can tell, right? I love it. Um, and I got some black of that same thing. And um, it's oh, just such good quality. And this is from Surge. And then the other one I got from Surge, I love this. Isn't this cool? This beautiful sort of abstract um, teal aqua. I'm not sure. I guess it would be a teal. Um, and it's got some pink and yellow. Um, abstract print. Love it. So I'll show you my plans. Um, for those, as you know, it may change because I do change my mind a lot. Uh, but I will um, show you what the plans are and then we'll go from there. <laughs> um, the reason that you have a plan is so you can plan to change your mind, right? <laughs> Um, this is some black too. Now this was not necessarily labeled swimwear, but it is an athletic um, nylon lycra. And it's definitely, uh, it's really hefty. Not super drapeable, but 
nice and hefty and I think it'll make a great um, suit, especially just some solid bottoms or um, something like that. This is left from a dress that I made. If you remember, this is a scuba crepe and I'm not going to make a whole suit out of this, but what I am going to do maybe is do a little contrast somewhere with this. So I saved it um, because I love the print and I think, you know, combined with some black, it would make a really cool looking suit. Um, I still have to do the swim test with this one with chlorine. I haven't been to the Y to do that yet. This is a piece I got in San Antonio. This is exactly the same as the suit I made two years ago, um, only it's purple instead of blue. But I loved it so much I bought some more. Um, this is a, an ITY that I got and I'm not necessarily going to make a whole suit out of this, um, but I might accent something. This is a navy and white stripe. Definitely will be lined, um, but I'm not really sure exactly um, if I'm gonna use this for swim or not, but I thought I'd throw it in there. Just, you know, those are the possibilities. Um, if you line them, you can sometimes turn one, the knit that's not really, really appropriate for swimming. You can kind of, as if you use a nice lining, you can maybe use it for an accent or something. This one is also from San Antonio from Fabriktopia. I love this print. And I have plans for that as well. Okay, this is another athletic knit and it's shiny. <laughs> It's like a gray silver. So I'm planning on using this one in kind of a different way. I'm going to use this matte side, which is I think the wrong side, but then I'm going to do a flounce with the shiny side up. So I'll have a little bit of contrast. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll show you the pattern I'm gonna use for that. I have some sketches of what I plan to do. They're very simple sketches, don't expect much, but they kind of show what I want to do. Um, and then this is just a piece of swim from Joanne, just a red lycra, uh, nylon lycra. All right, so that's the fabric I have to pick from for my suits that are coming up. So let's talk patterns. There are not as many patterns out there as I would like to see. Um, the big four have some. The uh, Butterick 5795 is actually a nice pattern and I might even make that again, only do the proper measurements. The one thing I really like about that pattern is this cover up. I may make this cover up. So um, there's more reasons to shop for patterns than just the suits. I made this view, I may make it again um, and try to lengthen the body um, and do it correctly. Jaylee has a lot of swimwear patterns and I'm going to um, probably make at least 3350 again. Perhaps I will mash up again. And another thing I may do is the tankini, which I have ne not, which I have never done. So I would love to make those. Um, and they have some great uh, swim shorts if you like to have shorts for the bottom. They do have some swim shorts. Another one that I like a lot is the um, Ellie and Mac has a couple. They actually have three, I think, for adults. They have the Oasis, they have the Color Block, and they have the Waterfall. The Oasis is a little low in the front for me, so I'm probably gonna go with the um, Waterfall in the color block. Um, the color block has um, a skirt. Um, it's like a halter type and then a skirt. And um, you can have the skirt be long enough to kind of come down over your hips a little bit. And that's probably what I'm going to choose um, to do. And the waterfall is beautiful. It's um, a straight uh, strapless sort of suit, although you can add straps, and it has just the waterfall that goes, um, it can either go over shoulder or just all the way around. It's really pretty. That one, I'm, I really do wanna make that one for sure. Another one that I want to look at is the Megan Nielsen Coddle Sew. I believe that's the one we're gonna be looking at next week. 
um, because there's some, it's a basic suit. So I should be able to give you some really basic um, information as far as measuring um, and all those things. And Made for Mermaids has a couple. I like the Alexandria. It's just a wrap um, suit with a little flounce. This is what I was thinking for this one. Um, to do this in matte and then have the shiny side up for the flounce, I think might be really pretty. Um, and then they have a Camilla suit, which is really nice. That's just got a little bit of a drape in front. So you'll see from the sketches that I have here, um, I have the Alexandria sketched out with the shiny side um, for the flounce. I also have the um, Camilla suit uh, with the red, thinking I might do something like that with the red. I also have the um, Coddle Sew with this blue, I think will be really pretty. Um, I also have the purple and just the Jaylee 3350 with the twist. I also have another 3350 with a twist with a black bottom and this scuba on top. Um, I have this for a color block. Um, and then I have this for the tankini, for um, the Jaylee tankini. So those are my plans. So we'll see how much of those I get done, but I'm going to share them with you as I go. Um, over the next, uh, I leave in seven weeks, I believe. Um, so over the next seven, eight, nine weeks, I'm going to um, be sharing uh, the suits with you and be sharing some techniques. Um, we'll go over elastic, we'll go over cups, cup placement, um, lining, um, anything that you can uh, imagine. I'm going to go ahead and just do the suit and then kind of point out some unique construction things to each one. That's my plan. So, and then I'm also going to, like I did with the um, great cardigan wrap up, I'm going to have the um, roundup, the swim and beachwear roundup um, playlist. And I'm going to not only put all of my videos in there, but I'm going to um, take some submissions from my fellow uh, vloggers and um, kind of create a resource for you all things swimming and um, so I hope that um, that will be a good resource for you. Now let me go over just a couple things that you need if you're going to make bathing suits. Um, you want cups. Now I buy mine on Amazon. Um, you can usually get them for a couple dollars a pair. I think they are $3 a pair on Surge Fabrics. Um, so if you can find them there, that is great. I think they were might have been sold out when I ordered mine. Um, but these are harder to find because they are D slash E. Um, and I need, even though I do not wear a D size bra, I, I'm, I really wear a C bra, but I want the coverage that that D cup provides. So um, I would say think up from your cup size um, so that you have the coverage that you want. Um, because if they point up, like if you have one that dips down in a round way and these point past there, you can always trim the top of them and zigzag the edges. So um, yeah, they're triangular, but um, they're wonderful. I really like these cups a lot. These are the ones I used last time. These were four for $20, I think. So, you know, at uh, $3 a piece, you're just as well to buy them um, at Surge if they're back in stock. So um, I have these uh, nude ones and I also have some black ones on order. Um, the other thing you need is tape measure. Now I'll leave a link on Amazon because this is something I didn't have and couldn't find. But you need not just a regular tape measure because those usually only go out to 50, 70, somewhere around there. You need one that goes all the way to 120. So that'll reach all the way around your body and vertically, okay? So definitely get 120 
uh, inch tape measure and um, they have some on Amazon. They're very cheap. That's the only place I could find one. So if you have a source, please share it below because um, I don't know uh, where else to get them. Joann's did not have one that long. So, and neither did Hobby Lobby. So um, Amazon's quick delivery though. So wouldn't be hard to get them there. And then the other thing you're gonna need is lots of swimwear elastic. Swimwear elastic is actually super soft um, elastic and it's kind of usually like a natural color um, and it's really comfortable elastic to the point where if I'm going to put elastic in that's going to touch my skin and a dress like if I'm zigzagging it on for a waistline or something um, I use the swimwear elastic if it's going to be touching um, my skin at all because it's just super soft and cotton wrapped and really nice and um, you can get that anywhere. I don't remember where I got this because I just have a bunch. So those are the things that you need to get started in your swimwear venture. If you've made bathing suits, please share them with me. Um, I'd love to feature them on a viewer make. I do have a viewer make segment coming up on Tuesday for you. And um, but if you've made suits, we'll uh, we'll put them in on Fridays so we can share bathing suits with each other as far as what we've made and ideas and what are your favorite bathing suit patterns? Maybe you want to share one that I didn't mention. There are a ton. Um, like I said, not as many as I would like, um, but I'm looking from the old lady perspective. <laughs> I'm not looking at bikinis and I'm looking at modest um, necklines. So there's a lot out there that aren't like that. So I'll just leave that there. Um, I will cover them if you, you know, want to, um, you want to see some of those, let me know and I can show you um, online where they are or share some pattern numbers with you. I won't be making them, however, because <laughs> I can't wear anything like that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show pictures of myself in bathing suits along the way. And I just, um, I guess, ask you to be kind because no, uh, there's no body shaming on this channel, as I said last week. And I am going to stick by that and not be ashamed to show you my body in a modest bathing suit. So um, I will leave it at that. So I hope that you come along with us for the ride. I can't wait to um, add some of our other sewing vloggers to the playlist with ba uh, bathing suit ideas. The cardigan roundup ended up being a really great resource for the cardigans that are out there. So, you know, I hope that this bathing suit uh, playlist does the same thing. So if you're a vlogger and you have covered bathing suits, please send them my way. The only thing I'm going to ask is I'll have a little graphic that you can share that'll point to the playlist so we all get views out of, you know, one for all, right? That's how we are in the sewing community. So we'll have a wonderful Sunday and I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm going to be doing an independent designer focus on Love Notions, which you know is my very favorite fit pattern company. So um, I'll have a lot of information for you. And um, I've got some questions that I asked Tammy, um, the designer of Love Notions, and she sent back some great answers. And um, I cannot wait. The hardest part for me is to decide which Love Notions makes to show you because I have so many. So, um, but it will be a fun time. So don't miss that on Tuesday. And um, I'm not sure when the next Indie Designer Focus will be. Um, I'm waiting on people to get back with me at this point. Um, but there will be some other videos in between them. Um, we may be just doing one a month or something like that as we go. Uh, like I said, it just kind of depends on how quickly people get back with me. Um, but the following week after um, Love Notions, we'll have a Tuesday video. I'm going to actually go through all of my sewing that needs to happen before I leave for Mexico on March 14th. I'm going to attempt, my husband coined this phrase and I like it, We, I'm going to attempt to have a me made Mexico. So um, 
I'm getting started with this, but I also have clothes. I have not only 14 beach days, I have 14 dinners to dress up for. So should be fun. Anyway, I will see you later. Happy sewing. Happy Sunday.